What's good, Bully World? This is Zeb, your host, Bully Talk with Zeb Pitts. Exciting day. Had a chance to get out to a BWI uh, with the welcome home of Sergeant Derek Miller. Long eight years. He's home. That's great. Man, I can't wait for the interview to go down on Real Talk with Zeb. Looking forward to that. This is just the first step in the process of the fight. Uh, the first step was to get him home. You know, it went from life to 20 years to where we at now, uh, out free. But the next step in the process is clearing his name. Hopefully, um, the paperwork has been presented in front of President Trump. As you know, I think he's planning on doing some pardons uh, before Memorial Day, Memorial Day weekend, I believe. So... The paperwork for Derek is in front of him. Hopefully, he's one of the ones that they get the call for the pardon. And if so, that he can move forward and move on with his life, man. So, really hoping that goes now. I'm just excited to be, to be a part of it. And hopefully, um, a lot of people get behind the support and the movement of Real Talk with Zeb. It's not major, but I plan on being major. You know, I, I, I put that in the atmosphere, I bring that into existence, that it's a platform that, that, that can help others. And I, I just, I truly feel in my heart, man, that I'm, I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing. Um, I, I just, it's hard to explain. I, I just feel like, this is something that was that was that was designed for me by God, really, to to be a helper to others with this platform. It's not easy. It hasn't been uh, overnight or anything of that nature at all. It's it's been a hard, long struggle with this real talk with Zeb uh, to get the support behind the movement. I definitely I definitely get those interviews, so I, I know I get that. But I just need the support behind the brand to really push it to the next level and then and if you tired of the, the bs bull crap that's that's not helping our community you got to get behind a platform that is helping the community so hopefully man I, I i'm on that path that i feel i'm destined to be on um with this platform of real talk is there. as you can see i bring the bully world with me everywhere i go so I, I try to tell people about that in the bully world, man, that, but I don't know. I really don't know. That's why I said the home for Bully Talk was there. Pitts is ABKC and they've always uh, shown support behind the brand and never had issues with them. So that's definitely the official home for Bully Talk was there. Pitts. And again, this, this this has been a good week because, as you know, a fight coming up this weekend. You got Devin Haney as the headliner. I, I Man, I'm trying my best to get that interview. I've been reaching out hard to Devin Haney, man, to really get that interview, man, because I, 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 I know what I do with interviews, man. I, I know it'll be a good interview. So... He either in town now or probably in the next day because that fight is on Saturday. I know he's going to probably start doing promotion. He's going to probably have the press conference here because the fight at the MGM, you know, he's going to have to weigh in. So hopefully in between that time, I can get that interview. I, I really want that interview. Also, uh, on the undercard on May 25th at the MGM National Harbor, we got my dog, Lorenzo Truck Simpson. Uh, he's going to be making his fourth uh pro fight debut i i know he gonna do his thing man that's a future world champion right there because he was he was like the face for the 2020 olympics man decided to go pro so i know they weren't too happy about it but that's a decision he made for himself and his family and his life so 100 on behind him man i know he gonna do big things and and that in that uh, 154, 160 class. So expect big things from him. And of course, uh, 
Tank this summer, Baltimore Royal Farms, July 27th. I've been telling y'all about that for a while. I see the Baltimore uh, Sun came out with their article about that July 27th. So, a lot of things in the works, man, for uh, uh, Zare Brooks Multimedia. And just praying God uh, takes it to places that, that I can't even imagine. So, I... I, I words can't explain sometimes man i just just be in the moment of things and and just hopefully it pays off uh continue to uh share and support the brand i don't want to really ramble on uh just wanted to come on share the exciting news that Derek is home interview dropping soon um i'm gonna be honest i don't think that uh dr umar interview gonna happen i'm gonna be real honest with you i i it's one day when you had when he had to see me face to face and he had that surprise look because he knew i've been reaching out to him so he might have finagled me a little bit when he seen me talking about yeah let, let's let's chop it up it ain't gonna happen i'm gonna be honest with you i reached out to him so I, i'm just gonna be honest because i know people some people was hitting me about that asked me about that interview when it's gonna happen i doubt if it happened i'm just gonna be honest with you so I move on for that. I don't even want to talk about that no more. So I reached out. I did my part. And he know that. <laughs> so it is what it is. So I just move on for that. Um, like I said, I'm looking forward to the other stuff I got going on and, and and following God's path, man, for my life. So thank you all for the support with the brain. I'm out.